coming up next. An amazing student who is constantly running around the school working hard and spreading laughs. PTTV will shine light on this student. Have any old sweaters? You can help out and donate them to Mrs. Sadowski. Keep listening to find out how. All this and more on today's episode of Wake Up Warriors. Live from Penn Trafford High School. This is Wake Up Warriors. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning to you, Penn Trafford, and welcome back to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Tuesday, January 10th. I'm Phelan. And I'm Paul. TJ Swetko is a student who you may have seen running around the school for In the Halls of PT or anchoring here on Wake Up Warriors. But did you know he does so much more? We sent out reporter Ella Welsh to sit down and talk with TJ to see everything he does. TJ Sweco is a man of many trades. He does extremely versatile courses here at Penn Trafford, from German and Russian to journalism in Penn Trafford Television. I caught up with him to see what else does he do here at Penn Trafford. Salute TJ Sweco. You're watching the TJ Spotlight. So in school, I have three primary things that I take great pride in. So uh, I'm a new editor-in-chief of the paper. Um, this year, uh, I'm responsible for uh, creating the layout of the actual paper, like which articles go on which page, or what articles get into the final cut. And I love helping uh, some of the other staff members design and uh, edit their own articles. Um, in TV, uh, I try to anchor as often as I can. I, I love being in front of the camera and bringing the news of Penn Trafford to the student population. And I'm a studio manager, so I have to take care of the wardrobe in the studio, which means that any clothes that anchors rent out for the show that they do not bring to school, I have to put away. I have to make sure they're clean, they're hung up nicely. I have to wrap microphones and wires. I'm basically, a, I'm a maid of the studio. <laughs> I'm the president of German Club. I'm a treasurer in the PT Unified Club. Uh, I am a light manager, we'll call it that, in the Drama Guild. Oh yes, I'm also the treasurer for the Stage Street Club. And the Stage Street Club is not the same as the Drama Guild. The Stage Street Club does chorus and band concerts, which I design the lighting for. And uh, the light manager position in the Drama Guild is uh, uh, lighting for the plays and the musicals. Uh, after Penn Trafford, I like to study at the University of Pittsburgh, uh, wherein I will uh, pursue foreign language education. I would like to either teach Russian or German to high school and college students. I would probably have to study abroad for that, though. Um, I've already studied at Pitt once over the summer last year. Uh, I participated in the summer program called the Governor School of Global and International Affairs. Uh, and I studied Arabic for a single semester, uh, but I'm not too fluent in that. One piece of general advice that I would offer to any student here is uh, do an activity, do a club. We have a billion here at Penn Trafford. We have everything from a, a Bible club to a stay through club to an art club, a book club. There is something for every type of student. And I believe that doing an extracurricular activity after school is a great way to occupy yourself and to meet people who are like-minded. This is Ella Welsh reporting for PTTV. The mock trial team had a great experience this week in the pit. While their teams did not place, Elijah Kleinschmidt was re recognized as an excellent attorney with a perfect score for the weekend. The team worked together and received countless compliments on their preparation and formal presentations. Please consider joining them for one of their matches in the coming weeks. Mrs. Sanofsky's fashion design class is looking for old sweaters that, can, that students can use for a project they are working on. Reporter Nick Shermino talked with her to find out about the project and how you can donate. So the Fashion One students, for their final project, they have what's called a sweater challenge, and they have to upcycle a sweater. So they have to take a sweater that someone no longer uses, wears, and they have to turn it into a new fashion item. It's our way of helping to learn about the the fashion industry's role they play in the waste to the environment. So if you would like, um, we collect sweaters all throughout the year. So anytime you're going through your closets and cleaning things out, if you ever have knitted sweaters that you no longer want, any size, all sizes are great. Um, we will take them and we will use them. The PT Ski and Board Club is heading to Seven Springs on Friday, January 20th. Add some fun to your Friday night and sign up for this trip with Senor Flynn in room 207 before first period. The last day to sign up for this trip is tomorrow. 
The Makeup Club had its first meeting of the year yesterday. For their lesson, the members watched videos and took note of how to contour their faces, such as by defining the cheekbones, sharpening the jawline, or shaping their noses. As each face shape is different, they learned how contouring can be adjusted for many face types. Now let's send it over to Ryer for the sports rundown. The cheerleaders competed in the Whitfield Championship at Hemfield last Saturday. They completed impressive stunts and made sure the crowd to let them know who we are. PT came in second place in the division and third place overall in the championship, which means they have qualified for Hershey. Congratulations to the cheer team. They will compete in states from January 26th through the 28th. Make sure to wish our cheerleaders good luck. The Penn Trafford bowling team had a tournament this past Saturday at New Great Valley. The matches were, were played on a college oil pattern against 19 other teams from across the area. Alyssa Bales led the way for the girls, scoring a 333 for two games, and Trent McCoy bowled a 355 for the two games. The next match will play uh, Yawk at home at 3 p.m. Tonight in sports, the rifle team takes on Mount Lebanon at Mauriceville Gun Club at 3.30. The girls' basketball team takes on Oakland Catholic at Oakland Catholic High School at 7.30. The boys' basketball team hosts the Keysport Area High School at 7.30 in the main gym. And the hockey team takes on Butler at Palmer Imaging Arena at 8.30. Good luck to our Warriors tonight. That's all I have for sports today. Now let's send it back to the desk. Today's show, thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I'm Phelan. And I'm Paul. Have, have a, a great, great day, day PT. PT.